morning. I'm Lynn, and as I say every day these days, welcome to another cold and windy day at Utopia Farms. Seems like Arnie left a surprise for me in the milk house. How come you're in here all by yourself? Did you jump out of the feeder? And you're looking for your bottle? Oh, Leonard, let's find your bottle. <laughs> yeah. So before we head on over to the coverall, I've done all my salt and mineral and fed the bottles in the main barn. Louise is up in one of the feeders and Thelma hopped out to say hello to everybody. She's a little snuggle bunny. She leans right into you now when she want, gets her snuggles. And people have been asking me like constantly, am I keeping Thelma and Louise? And as you know, for the last three years anyway, we've sold all our ewe lambs out. So no ewe lambs are going to market. So you don't have to worry about that. Thelma and Louise are probably gonna end up staying here. And w whether they stay here or they go to another really nice farm, they will be going together. This is one pair that I won't split up since they, uh, they do so much together. That's you, I know it is. They can see it themselves in the camera. That's you, it is. Anyway, we're gonna head off to the coverall and get some work done, but I thought we'd start the day off saying hello to Thelma here. If she could talk, she'd say hello too. Yes, you're a snuggle bunny. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Okay, we're doing chores in the Suffolk Lamb Barn right now. And we got a pretty little row of them lined up here by the chute. Now that everyone's fed, I thought I'd take the time to check that everyone's doing okay. We got someone jumping up on my back right here. Who are you that keeps jumping on my back? Do you think I like that? Just cleaned all the drinkers, so they're drinking water now and eating food now that they're off their mums. I just finished giving them all salt and mineral and I bag was empty and I dropped it on the ground and that seems to be a real popular item right here with mainly the boys. I only see one girl in this huddle and she just backed out. All boys. I guess boys it's a challenge to see what they can get into but every one of these is a boy attacking that bag. That's kind of funny. The girls are smart, they're at the feeder. Actually, it looks like there's a lot of boys in this pen. We'll have to see when we divide them up. But at a glance, you're one of the younger ones, but you seem to be okay. Yeah, you seem to be okay, just little. Hi, little guy. Hi. Are you Belle Belle's lamb? You look a little like Belle Belle. Oh, and here's Kinky. In case people wonder what happened to her. You can see her legs still like that. But see, she's not even really limping on it. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. We'll go look on the Suffolk side now. I'll have to take the bag away from these guys. Oh, I see that the girls are now pushing the boys out of the way. Right now we're getting set up for this afternoon's task. And of course, Thelma, even with all that banging and loud noise, feels like she's gonna be our helper today. You gonna help out today?
Okay. So we got the shoots up again. We're going to divide our breeding groups up now. We want all the purebred dorsets on one side and all the crosses on the other. Except for Chewy. Chewy's going to stay in the purebred side because we're keeping her. And all of our crosses have been sold. They're not going to be put in with a ram because he's going to be cedaring them. And the guy who bought them, well, him and his wife or partner, they bought them. They've been buying sheep from us for probably as long as we've started up in sheep in this area. So uh, we know them really well. We trust them with our sheep. Trust them to do a good job and for the ewes to go on to good homes. We weren't going to sell this group to just anyone. Because we figured if we didn't find the right people, we would just keep them ourselves. But looks like we found the right people. So right now we're going to sort them and we're going to put Sheriff in with our group. And I already put up the gate and poor old uh, Thelma is locked in here with Ben. You're going to do that on your own? Okay, so Arnie is just going to bring everybody over here. And he's hoping they'll all come around. We've got the rams on the outside watching what's going on. And I'll probably hook up my tripod this afternoon. Ben! Oh, I guess I'm going to have to help. So what I'm doing is I have my reader in my hand and I'm scanning each U. I've got columns on a piece of paper there and I'm writing down all the purebreds in one column and all the crosses in another. That way I know how many we're keeping and how many are actually going to their new home. Arnie is putting a spray marker dot on each of the U's that are going to their new home. That way, um, in if somebody happened to jump over or get mixed up, we'd know who was who without having to sort them all out again. When we're working, we actually don't do a lot of talking. Usually we're a little tight when we're working together, uh, trying to get things organized. So we just kind of have our own tasks and we try to get it done as quickly and smoothly as possible. I'm going to 
push through the middle. In general, Arnie does all the manual and heavy work, and I do all the paperwork, record keeping, and stuff like that. That way we're not overlapping each other in our jobs. She's got a mark on her? Right there. Bad thing. Oh. Right here we found a ewe who has um, half her udder has a lump in it, so um, it was supposed to go in the grade group, but we don't want to send a sheep that could have a problem that we know about anyway, so we are making the decision to put it into our group and it will probably get called. one of our show sheets from last year, Candy. These two go, these two are going to stay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
ones we want to read here uh, are our group. Yeah. Uh, are, are you, do you know their do you know their lines? Or you don't, you're not concerned about it. It doesn't matter because we're using sheriff. I know they're not related to sheriff. So basically you get the idea, we load up the loading tub, we lock the group into the double shoot here, I read everybody, we record them, we mark any grades, and we put, we're sorting one group into one side of the barn and one group is going to the front of the barn for now. And basically that's, that's what we did. At the end, we ended up with 26 views that will be going to a new home. We don't like having to sell them. We put a lot of time and effort into creating even those grades. Um, half of them, I would say, were as good or better than some of the purebreds. But we really have to consider um, that we're getting older and we need to just be a little more streamlined to make our life a little bit easier but getting rid of them is not an easy decision okay so this is the purebred group plus chewy we are keeping Chewy. Chewy's gonna stay here for the rest of her life. And um, one of the ewes when we were shearing had mastitis on one udder, we discovered it, and she was a grade, so she can't be sold. So we put her in our group, but uh, she's gonna be a cull sheep. So we thought we had 30 for Matthew, but there's only 26. But we're thinking that's all he's going to be able to get into his trailer anyway. So hopefully he'll be happy with them. His group are back here. And I think they're an extremely nice group of sheep. And of course these guys have all stayed with them during the whole process. They're having the best of time. Thelma, Louise, and Gladiator's niece. Oh, look at the stance on Gladiator's niece. Yeah. Okay, so we've been having discussions about what to do with now that we only have half as many sheep for the fall breeding. We're, we were going to put the ram in today, but now we're having second thoughts. Now we're wondering if we should just get rid of the fall breeding and breed these girls in the winter with all the rest of the sheep and we can have the fall off. And I think we might be leaning that way. But until we make up our mind, we're not putting a ram in. These two are still our little helpers today. Hi guys. 
you guys have to be involved in every aspect of the farm. We're trying to get rid of crosses because it just makes your life easier if you only if you have less groups of sheep. So we figured since we were already in registered sheep, just cut it down to two groups. Registered Suffolk's, registered Dorset's. But inevitably, you get these type of sheep that follow you around and inevitably they're <laughs> the grades and you have to keep them. You can find a home for those two. Well, yeah, it would have to be somebody who was gonna <laughs> keep those two together. But yeah, they're pretty nice. These are uh, nice little mascots uh, to walk around. They're too consistent. They, uh, they, oh yeah, smart too. Look at them. Probably the better one there now. Yeah, Louise is better than Thelma, but Thelma has more personality. Hey Ben, how about Ben? Look at them. Ben? Those two. They're such characters. So we did part of what we wanted to do today. And now we're indecisive again. We we're so um wanting to downsize. But it's more about um, being able to catch up and have time to ourselves. And the fall lambing is the absolute easiest of the lambing. But it's awkward for having room in your barn because we have to have different groups. And the fall lambs take up a lot of space when we're trying to lamb in the wintertime. Um... They all have to be in separate groups and it gets, it, we're running out of space. Whereas if they're all in the same group, they're all doing everything at the same time and it's a lot easier management wise. So if we sell our grades from the fall, we can easily bump up our purebreds into the winter lambing and not have a fall group. So. We're going to give that a few days thought anyway before we make a final decision. But now we're thinking maybe that's the best option for us. Right now I'm laying in with the family group that are in the barn. Everybody's calm. Hi, you guys. But in the meantime... I'm laying here with Louise and Thelma. Hi, Thelma. Hi. We're down in the straw here and we're gonna say goodbye. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed your time with us, please send a comment, give us a like. And I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Say bye, you two. Say bye. <laughs> bye for now.